We have been listening to a mother's hospice care horror story today. She says that her son did not have to die, and she's demanding justice for Jermaine. The woman is talking with 11 News reporter Rux Russell, who's been going over the allegations in her lawsuit against the hospice. This is him the day before the accident, the night of the accident. Joyce Hollis still has pictures of her son. But that's all. It was a terrible feeling. Um, my whole world just felt like it was shattered. It's been shattered now for more than a year. Ever since a motorcycle accident sent 30-year-old Jermaine Hemphill to Bentob Hospital in a vegetative coma. He had something going on with the part of his brain that controlled his temperature. And he needed a special machine called a cooling blanket. A blanket doctors said would prevent him from overheating. A few months later, doctors at the hospital, with his mother's permission, transferred James to this hospice where Joyce says staff promised her son would receive a cooling blanket. He never did, and his body temperature soared, according to medical records, to a staggering 107.9 degrees. Within two days of his arrival here, James was dead. Did he know that? He was leaving this world. Did he call out my name? The Texas Department of Health and Human Services cited Winter Haven for failing to meet recognized standards of practice, and attorneys for the family have filed a lawsuit seeking one and a half million dollars in damages. They were supposed to provide a certain type of service, and it just didn't happen. Officials at Winter Haven's corporate office declined comment. I wasn't ready for my son to leave. It was no reason for him to leave. Now this woman has no choice but to remember. Rux Russell, 11 News.